Hello everyone, I'd like to share with you the trades that were posted on Tuesday, 19th of September 2023. These trades were shared by MG, who's trading Dow Jones CFD. As you see, the macro chart is in uptrend and past the point of control. And we can see in the structural chart also that the price broke the complex pullback and the trend was resumed. So using a smaller trading chart, he identified multiple area of long entry and entered long positions based on algo one to five and managed and closed them with profit. So thank you MG for sharing your trades with us. The next trade was shared by Castro who's trading gold USD. As you see the trading chart shows that the price has tested this level of static resistance multiple times and in the last three tests he identified this area as a good entry based on setup C and entered this position with good risk to reward ratio and is trailing now the price and is risk free and is close to reaching the profit with a good runner and risk to reward ratio. So thank you Castro for sharing your trades with us. The next trade was shared by Yan, or global instructor, who is trading Nasdaq CFD. As you see, the macro chart reached an area of a static support on a daily chart. And also you can see that the breakout was false. So he saw the momentum is decreasing in the structural chart. And using setup B, he entered here with very good risk to reward ratio and managed this trade to close it with a good runner on the other side of the static resistance with profit. So thank you, Ian, for sharing your trades with us. The next few trades are those that I have taken during the New York market session and the video with detailed explanation was sent to students yesterday. So I'm going to replay the video here for you. Hello, everyone. I'd like to share with you the trade that I have taken today on Tuesday, 19th of September 2023. These trades were taken on Nasdaq, Dow Jones and S&P 500 futures. If you look at the one hour macro chart, we see that the price was fluctuating around the previous day close during the global session and began to go down pre-market and during the New York market session, the price started to go down rapidly and passed the previous day low and continued to go low. So around 1050, the buyers came back on the NASDAQ and also the downtrend is slowed down and you can see that the price was started to have a pullback here on other EMINIs. So I took several long positions using setup C and T on NASDAQ around 1030 to 11 and also on Dow Jones around 11 to 1130 and on S&P 500 and also around 11 and these long positions were copied from each chart by copy trader to multiple Apex Trader funds accounts and we can see that the result was positive showing profit factor of 1.42 with about 77% win rate from the long positions taken and average win to loss ratio of 0.43 the largest winning trade was 155 and the largest losing trade was $329 so I hope this trace taken by the PATH system is useful for you and let us know if you have any questions. Have a wonderful day.